So how ironic is this? It's my, you know, it's my holiday. It's, it's an established national holiday, American holiday, Kareem Ferguson weekend, the last weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday of August, every year from now on. And then tomorrow's Labor Day too, right? You know, how about this? I got fired from Postmates. God is the man though. You know, he puts you in and out of things. I mean, my day started off arguing with some Indian dude about what, what you can and can't do, which I didn't have an issue. I was excited, right, about, you know, pick, having to wait for someone's order while I went ahead and had me lunch because I was looking for something different to eat for once, right? But when I went to go ask him, like, hey, what's this? He act like he didn't understand English any further. So, man, fuck it. Because he was trying to explain to me, like, you can't do both. Maybe we don't deliver right now. You can only sit down and we don't do that yet. Whatever, nigga. I would come here to eat, too. But then he rubbed me the wrong way. All right, so boom. I got over that really quick, though. You know what I'm saying? So, they went on chilling, maxing, cooling, relaxing. And then, I do this delivery, like, later on, like, around, like, maybe, like, later. You know what I'm saying? And, um, <laughs> I walk up these, the, the walk, I'm like, first of all, the house couldn't see the address. You had to just guess that, okay, that number is 27, and then that number is 31. This must make 29, first of all. But you're walking up the walkway looking for all this grass everywhere. So I'm telling, talking to myself, I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers need to cut this grass, right? This is terrible. Get my, my, my truck's all dirty, you know, wet and sloppy. Not dirty is okay, but wet and sloppy. And they're coming along really well. They're, um, they're kind of, you know, they're a little dirty. I like dirty trucks. But yeah, man. So, um, so the little dude answers the door. I said, man, why don't y'all cut this grass, man? Boom, he takes it. He's like, I know, the weed walker broke or some shit he tried to say, right? And he shut the door. So I get down to the edge of the, you know, walkway back to the sidewalk. And a lady, what, pulls up, like, all alerted, like, what's going on here, you know? I'm like, no, I just delivered 7 Eleven. And then, I guess whoever the dude that was inside the, uh, the, and took the took the order, somebody in there was being tough. Like, what the fuck just happened or something? And, you know, the mom was, like, diffusing it, or the boyfriend, whoever he might have been. She was like, no, they deliver 7-Eleven. And he shut the door again. And then she asked me, like, what you say? I said, you need to cut the fucking grass. That's what I said. All that fucking grass over there. And then he came and walked to your door. And she told me what was happening and who went where and why it wasn't cut and shit like that. And dude opened the door up again, but from a distance. And then, you know, I started snapping on him or something like that. One or the other. She was like, why you do that? Like, I just made him calm down. Like, you over here tripping again. I'm like, oh, I'm, I, no, you yelling at me, chill. Pulls off. And then, like, I go fall back or something and do something. Nice car. And, um, I go do something or whatever I want to go do. And, um... Mm-hmm. When I went to go work and do some more postmate shit, it said, "Yo, your time with postmates is done," and I didn't even have to guess why. And that's how I got fired for postmates. Sorry. Yeah, though. So, you know, that's how it pans out. So I said, I feel really, that's like an ignorant, it's like a personal, like, damn. But at the same time, I know that the opportunities that's about to happen opens up. Like, um, it's, you know, if I'm going to go grab one million, then I probably ain't going to get it, you know, strictly messing with, 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 um, messing with Postmates. So it's time to go, like, get 844, I'll do it, situate it. Um, get that off the ground. Um, get it really popping and expand upon what I've learned by messing with different companies and stuff like that. Um, gain a market share here. Do some other shit that I'm doing and not feel, you know, and just begin to get that type of thing started. Um, before I get too bogged down with creating a system around like Postmates plus other things. So. You know, no time at the present to go ahead on and begin working on what I'm going to do. Um, and I think I think I can create a nice market share, a private market share. Um, 
There's a lot that I can do. I'm excited, man. So, you know, when one door just closes, another one opens up. And I, it was, I, I might as well work for myself. I, you know, I can, for the same work that I do with them, you know, my, my, I don't know if my profit margin, I, I got to look at, I have to really look and see what my profit margin would be. But the price point for the service is, is higher. Um, you know, and I think I might be able to find a couple people that can be motivated enough to be some decent employees. You know, and help out, so we'll see. But, yeah, I got fired from fucking Postmates. Ain't that a bitch? Can't drive for Uber. Can't drive for Lyft. That, I, I think that's because I kicked uh, my baby's mom's boyfriend's ass. Because I never had no issues with stuff like that. And now all of a sudden, it's like disorderly conduct engaged in fighting. Like, I had forgot all about that. And I looked up. One day, like after after checker or whatever, like that, and I was like, "This ain't my this ain't my stuff. I don't got this early conduct. I ain't got no issues." And they hit me like a long time later, like them motherfuckers put that on my record. Fucking fight. All right, so I'm about to rock out. Who, who remembers this? You know, who remembers these? Remember this was popping and shit. Remember that? This is how I'm going to rock out. Throwback edition. Since 2001. Same original flavor. What did it say? Same original flavor. Limited time only. I don't know what the hell that means. Throwback edition. But I guess I'm glad I did this today. I'm going to go ahead and knock, knock me off a bottle of Hypnotic. I'm going to go find some cool to chill out and enjoy it. Um, Maybe I'll go to like somebody's BYOB restaurant. It's kind of... It's seven o'clock, you know, and um, you know, leave my holiday on a bank, and um, leave my holiday on a bank, and walk into what we, you know, the the future prepared. This one was about being free, being liberal, doing what you want to do before all the bullshit starts. So, whereas other motherfuckers are sending kids to school and got to stress about all the dumbest shit that I refuse to set my life up to live around and be around, I'm about to do the same shit. I'm about to birth my, I'm about to, I'm about to get my baby out of foster care and grow the fuck out of it. In the winter, don't nobody want to come outside and grind. Don't nobody want to be out there delivering and arguing with Seven Eleven people. You know what I'm saying? You know, at least, at least this way, I can choose my customers. You know, I'm sitting there about to fight with an Indian dude for his person I even met. I don't even know. What, I, I'm arguing with the Indian restaurant owner this morning, and I'm picking up for someone else. It's not. Even, I'm not going to enjoy that at all. I, don't, I might not even like the motherfucker who, who I, um, was getting it for. You know what I'm saying? So, this way, I can. You know, I have customers that I, we know and love, and that's that's one of my secrets to my business model is that it's not. I mean, while other companies um, can 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 provide um, more services um, quantitatively and I guess a little bit more on demand as of now, what they don't get is that person to person interaction, um, like driver to company or co- company to c- consumer. You know, there's there's a lot of buffering between that. Um, this way, you can actually call the freaking manager, you know, or the owner um, and discuss any displeasures or, or satisfactions. Postmates, you know, or Grubhubs or whoever is out there, you know, you're kind of locked in also to particular um, agreements or arrangements and you know between the companies and all the kind of the, the apps and stuff and also um it's not as informal you can't just call and say hey where you at you know when you pay for i'll do it you can you know you'll have the driver's phone number immediately you'll know who you're talking to you'll know where he's at you'll be able to gauge the sincerity level you'll be able to modify on the fly you'll be able to contact one another and say hey oh well i don't want that twinkie i want the purple twinkie you know as opposed to like being bogged down with a lot of the extra bullshit. So, I mean, there's 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 perks to, to being 
familiar with, with who you're dealing with and also being able to do you know do cash transactions will help too. Um so we'll see what it do. Um Joy Kareem Ferguson weekend. I'm gonna enjoy it with the French product of hypnotic. Um I'm gonna go find maybe two or three people that I enjoy. Um See if they want to hang out and enjoy my holiday with me. If not, I'll probably go find... I know exactly where I want to go. And I'm going to do it by myself. I don't have any social media. I got this YouTube. And um, maybe one day it'll grow. But, I mean, it's going to grow at some point when I'm in the mood. You're going to watch me make $1 million. You're going to watch me make $1 million and give it away. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and here, and so, you know, and... and, and and I'm going to get more uh, comfortable and more free to talk about what's going on and the intricacies of, what's, of what, what, what you might be seeing or what I, what I want to share. Because I'm not a person that divulges much information. I talk a lot. Um, I'm extroverted, but to, I don't give the whys, you know, the rationales or the, you know, or the, 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 the intricacies before you see just the results of what you're seeing, you know. like Sort of like you don't see the hard work. Like a motherfucker wouldn't know how hard it is to fight your sleep in the middle of the day or to do things you don't feel like doing um just, just to adhere to the rules or like to deny yourself some some entertainment or enjoyment um you know that's just is in my in my in my book um you know so you know sacrifice like you know it took me so long to buy a 40 dollar pair of tennis shoes i just spent 40 bucks on some liquor it's like weird that way i don't know um, but let me see. Uh, getting getting fired from Postmates. Ooh, that means I can't travel and do Postmates in other cities. It looks like I'm stuck here. It looks like I'm gonna have to be really, really nice to people and grow me a million dollar business in Pittsburgh. Okay, if I'm going to be in Pittsburgh and you watching this, right, I'm going to need a couple of things from y'all. I'm going to need y'all to be a little bit more kind and loving to yourself, okay? Have more concern for your, your children and your friends and your family. Be a little bit more honest. And when you see me, you don't got to treat me with the utmost respect, but treat yourself with some respect, okay? Because I'm going to try to treat you with that. And then, if, and then if you don't allow me to have the opportunity to do so, we're going to have a problem. And I mean... You don't owe me nothing, and I don't owe you nothing. I don't owe you to, to to act the way that you prefer to see me act based on how I look or sound, right? But if you agree to be kind of considerate and respectful and progressive and responsible and want more for yourself, I'll bring you a decent product. I'll put together at least a group of some people of some sort that will be there to, you know, it's a sort of an advocate group to be about that 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 better life um you know uh i need y'all to like get with the future with the you know there's technologies there's apps there's systems in place that are, people are using and, and understanding and enriching their existences with go get in go get into some of that grow up you know, we don't need 50-year-old, 60-year-old high school students leading the families out here no more. You know, you got 50, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 18, 15, 14-year-old high schoolers mentalities. That shit got to go. Like, up your human evolutionary consciousness, please. Um, and other than that, like, you know, some other shit I could just babble on, but... I think I'm going to every day kind of like uh, forget that I'm in Pittsburgh and just be at least for a hot second. So please, 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 please evolve alongside me. If I'm weird, strange, and crazy and all this kind of stuff and I can evolve me, stupid on me, then what more can you do if you're so great and awesome with your opinions? Go be great. Er, thank you. Bye bye.